When I was a little boy, my father would make up bedtime stories to put me to sleep. And in some houses, that might have been spaceship stories, cowboys and Indians, knights in armour. But for us, it was tales about Willie Stag Beetle. Utterly peculiar, maybe, for a lot of people. For, for us, that was perfectly normal, perfectly acceptable, because my father, very keen naturalist, a botanist and an entomologist, uh, was telling us really about his childhood. He grew up in Wimbledon and Putney and Richmond in southwest London, where stag beetles occurred. And by the time he had a family, we were growing up in the South Downs of Sussex. There were no stag beetles. And of course, I was fascinated. I'd seen pictures of these things, I'd seen specimens in museums. I'd never seen a live stag beetle. And we loved the stories that he told us. After university, I moved up to London, and originally North London, we couldn't afford anywhere to buy. We came south of the river, and almost the very first flat we came to view, we thought, that's quite nice. As we were walking away up the street, there on the pavement, walking across it, was a female stag beetle. And I, I, I just took it as an omen, this is, this is fantastic. And I've lived in South London for 25 years now, and we see stag beetles every year. And I always feel immensely privileged to see them. They are the most glorious things. They're, they're massive, they're elegant, perhaps slightly frightening to people who don't understand them. But when you ever see them, they're, they're just so mesmerizing. When we see the adults, we only ever see the last few days or possibly even weeks of the beetle's life. They spend three, four, five, six, maybe seven years as a huge grub the size of my thumb living underground. And of course it's the grub underground living is why they occur in South London. Because when South London was developed, it was in the days before bulldozers. So instead of an area being completely raised, the houses were built individually. If there were trees, they were cut down, the stumps were probably left. There was always mouldering wood rotting in the gardens. And even though the, the houses were built, the gardens were still the habitat for the stag beetles. And nowadays, South London is about the only place in Britain that you can see stag beetles. Every year, they fly around at night or in the early evening, sounding like model aeroplanes. Magnificent beasts. And every year, whenever I see them, I get terribly excited. And I always remember those stories that my father told me when I was a little boy with his big jaws. But even if I put my fingers in there, he's not going to bite me. Because they're not for biting. They're actually for wrestling with each other.